Hey guys, welcome to episode number 65. Today is Friday, so it's Fan Friday. And I'm um, back in the office by popular request. And I uh, just want to show you my new addition here. It's a dwarf African frog. Rescued it from uh, an office downstairs. But uh, when I got him, he was really pale what? white. And uh, now he's got some good color on his back, which is good. He's feeding. I just fed him uh, a little while ago. Um, feeding him uh, blood worms. And uh, he's also got some uh, aquatic uh, frog food. So uh, that's pretty cool. He's got a two and a half gallon tank here with a heater and uh, some live plants and some hiding spaces. Pretty cool little little frog. Uh, they're fully aquatic, so they don't need to come out of the water. And uh, I think I'll, I'll only have to change the water once every couple weeks. Um, so looking forward to that. They are climbers, so it is recommended that you keep a lid on. But um, yeah, just wanted to introduce you to him. And then um, what everyone's been wondering about is uh, right here. The uh, Eheim Aqua Style. Uh, nano uh, saltwater aquarium. It's been set up for uh, about three weeks, maybe four. I'm not really keeping track, but um, the live sand's been in, the live rock's been in for uh, quite a while, and um, everything's everything's pretty good. Um, I can tell that the tank is uh, fully cycled because of uh, all the algae growth. Um, I haven't been scraping the back wall, so there is quite a bit of algae growing on the back. But uh, surprisingly enough, um, the snails that I have in here are doing a pretty good job uh, taking care of the algae. Uh, what I did do was uh, the other day I went out and bought uh, six turbo snails. You can see one here. Um, there are a couple on the top of the rock there. There's a couple over here. And uh, they're doing a pretty good job. Uh, I guess if they uh, if they um, flip over onto the sand, you have to help them out because they can't flip themselves back over, uh, which is kind of interesting. But so far, I haven't seen that happen, uh, which is good. And uh, the other thing I bought were uh, some peppermint shrimp. Um, let's see if we can see them here or not. Uh, you can definitely see the antennas. There's one there. And then there's a few down there. I don't think they're going to really come out for us. But um, I did have an Aptasia problem. And uh, there's one polyp on the glass right here. Uh, but there were literally hundreds of Aptasia and polyps in here within a couple weeks of having this uh, aquarium set up. It was pretty fascinating how fast they, they multiply. Um, I think most of them came from this one piece of rock here, and I didn't mind, um, but uh, people recommended that I get some peppermint shrimp to eat the Aptasia, which is a pretty good call. So uh, I did do a water change today. It was uh, about uh, two gallons or so. Uh, that's the first water change that I've done. Let's see if I'll get the peppermint shrimp here. He's coming out. I've got three of the peppermint shrimp. And uh, one of them had eggs, so uh, I might see if I can get some uh, some larvae to, to pop out here uh, before I get fish. But um, like I said, you know everything's been in here, everything's set up. Um, the snails and the and the shrimp were a new introduction um, this past week, and uh, they've done a really good job kind of cleaning up uh, the mess that started to form in this tank. And uh, after that water change, I think I think the tank looks pretty good. Um, and the plan is to wait probably another week or two and then go get a couple of uh, clownfish. Um, I'm going to hold off on the anemone. Uh, multiple people said to, uh, to wait at least six months and really understand your tank um, before, before you try an anemone because they are uh, difficult. Um, they're very susceptible to uh, dying if there are any big changes um, 
so I'll wait on that. Um, hermit crabs are doing good. There's one there, and uh, there's another one down there. Uh, there is about six or eight of them, and they did hitchhike in the rock, which is cool. There's a, a one leg of a, a brittle star right here on the glass. Um, there are a bunch of those in the uh, in the rock too. You can see their arms kind of poking out. And uh, if you see right there in the center of the screen, uh, maybe um, right there, there is um, a little worm. There's another one down here in that crevice. Sorry, it's having a hard time focusing. But um, I did notice one large worm uh, when I when I first set up the tank, so I'm not surprised to see smaller worms. I'm not quite sure if they're bristle worms or if they're fire worms or what, but uh, I'll let them grow a little bit longer before I can uh, identify them. Um, I've got a coworker who uh, can probably identify them for me. Um, but if you know what they are just from seeing the little tip, let me know. Uh, here are the shrimp. They're kind of coming out a little bit. They, uh, they're pretty fascinating little guys, and uh, I'm not going to feed them until all of the Aptasia are gone in this tank. Uh, and then afterwards, I think I'm, I'm just going to be feeding the fish food to the, uh, to the, the clownfish, and then the, the hermit crabs and the, and the shrimp can kind of clean up from there. But um, that's kind of what's going on. This is my first saltwater setup, and... Um, I'm I'm surprised. I see something new in this tank every day. There's a new type of algae growing every day. I see a new animal in here every day. There's all kinds of different crazy things going on um, that I never would have imagined. And here comes the peppermint shrimp. So it's definitely been fun, fun for myself, fun for my coworkers, and. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting this tank uh, completed with the addition of uh, a couple of clownfish. So, um, if you guys are considering a office aquarium, uh, I would highly recommend the the Eheim Aqua Style here. Um, I found it's it's incredibly low in energy usage, uh, which is good. Um, and uh, the, the amount of maintenance is, is pretty pretty minimal as long as you have the right balance of uh, um, you know sand and rocks and animals and plants and stuff inside so I'm aiming to only change like two gallons of water in here every two or three weeks uh, and so far I think that's that's a manageable goal one thing I will mention is the lid is pretty much impossible to keep clean um, there is a little bit of condensation on the lid right now and that's just because I finished cleaning it and uh, I think I used a, a colder water to uh, clean it but this will get a bunch of salt buildup and it will get um, some uh, algae growing just because it, it's so close to the light here but all in all um, it's a really decent tank really decent um, setup and uh, I am I am really enjoying it I mean everyone who walks by the cube gets to see a little bit of ocean at the office which is cool so that's the update um, I will make another update in a couple weeks uh, when I do get the clownfish in here so that you guys can see what it looks like um, fully fully inhabited I guess um, I do think that with two small clownfish in here um, this tank will be maxed out. I don't, I don't want to put anything else in it. I think if I try to put anything else in it, it might just be, uh, overload. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now. I'm not going to try any anemones. I'm not going to try any corals quite yet. Um, because honestly, if, if something goes wrong and I need to medicate something, I don't have anywhere else to put any of this stuff. Uh, so I want to try to keep it as simple as I can to reduce any um, troubles that I might have in the future so that's the plan for right now um, really happy with how this is progressing I'm seeing a lot of 
spots, red spots from uh, the coralline algae starting to spread. Um, so that's a good thing. And the rest of the algae is now, uh, I think, pretty much under control thanks to the, the snails and the shrimp. So um, I think this, this cleanup crew is uh, right where I need it to be. You know, six to eight hermit crabs, three peppermint shrimp, six turbo snails. And uh, I don't think I'd change a thing. Um, I might add like two or three nerite snails, the ones that burrow in the sand, just to aerate the sand a little bit. I do have some worms that are aerating the sand, so I'm not too worried about it. But um, I definitely think the amount of life that I got in these three rocks was uh, phenomenal. So the addition of the, the snails and the shrimp have uh, really helped out. And... Uh, the next update I'll make on this tank uh, will be when I have the clownfish in it. So, look forward to that. Alright guys, see you later.